We've just arrived here at Boreen Point. We're about to set off into the Noosa Everglades. First thing we've got to do is play a little bit of boat Tetris. Arrange all our gear. We've got to get all of that stuff there, into there, and then we're setting off and heading out there. We set up camp at Victory Point Campground, introduced ourselves to the neighbours and then headed back into Kin Kin Creek. We dropped some crab pots and then caught and soaked some live baits, but the only thing that got eaten was us, by mosquitoes. The next morning we had an unsuccessful attempt at pulling a jack out of the natural structure with some surface and diving lures. And I don't know what happened to the footage, but it's vanished. Luckily not all the footage I shot disappeared. So we pick up the next morning after we collected our crab pots and headed down to the Canabo Info Centre to cook up some breakfast. How good is that outlook? Just rocked up at Canabo Info Centre. One of my favourite things to do when I come on a trip up here into the glades is to stop off at the Info Centre, Info Centre, set up the barbecue. Cook up a bit of a fig. We're gonna have breakfast today. We're gonna have bacon and egg wraps. Cooking a barbecue with our feet in the water. Oh yeah, does it get any better than that? Ooh, we got fire, baby. We managed to get one crab this morning out of Kin Kin Creek and unfortunately for that guy, when I come away on these trips I don't bring myself any protein so that guy's going to be lunch for Lee and I today. We're turning him into some... We're going to make Lee? Crab wraps. Crab wraps. Crab wraps. Alright, we're just going to cook up that crab while we're here at Canabo Info Centre that we got this morning. I actually brought some uh, kaffir lime leaves for another recipe and I thought you know what, that in the water with the crab that's cooking might infuse into the crab flesh, so I'm gonna give that a try. We've got the crab cooking, so while he's cooking, I think I'm gonna put the drone up and give you guys a look around at the area.
There's a little um, boardwalk off the Canabo Info Centre. So Lee and I are just going to go for a wander and check out the views. Well, it was time for us to pack up camp and start making our way deeper into the Noosa Everglades, and hopefully we manage to catch ourselves a fish or two while we're up there. The lake monitor. Time for a little lunchtime stop over at Harry's Hut. We've just got the crab that we caught this morning and cooked up. A couple wraps, some green stuff, and a bit of secret sauce. Nice and easy. Green stuff. made it to campsite three so from here on out it's just going to be the electric only campsite four is just around the corner and that's where we're heading we get set up and then hopefully get stuck into a good bass session all right we're all set up here at campsite number four setting off for a fish because we had such a really average time down at kinkin we didn't get any fish we don't really have anything to eat tonight so the pressure is on tonight we really need to get a feed Otherwise, dinner's going to be a little bit boring and just like a, a cup of noodles or something. Oh, yes! Yes! 
<laughs> think he's big, but he's the first fish. Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Get in the boat first. Oh, come on, I can get excited. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna land our little first bobby bass. Oh, are you alright? Yes! Ah! <laughs> yeah, but look how dark he is. Wow. On the pop. We'll see you later. Uh, we're down at campsite three. We're gonna make our way back up to campsite four. We haven't got anything for dinner yet, so things are starting to get a little bit desperate. We really need to get us a fish for dinner. Well, the fact that there's no cooking scene here should tell you that Lee and I had to settle for a backup meal this night. Ah well, there's always next time. Yes, yes! Oh, oh, I spat it! <laughs> oh, you picked it up again! He picked it up again! Are you kidding me? Is it tarpon? Real, real. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I don't think we need the net. Oh, he's gone. Wow, that was a tarpon, I think. Well guys, that's the end of the episode. We've had to make a snap decision and head back the afternoon before we had planned to due to the weather closing in, as you can see behind us. Uh, we've had to cross this Lake Cathara Bar in the afternoon when the wind and the waves are up and it was downright miserable. We got absolutely soaked and honestly, it was downright dangerous, but we did get back safely. Thanks for watching. Please do all those good YouTube viewer things, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Not supposed to look like that, is it, mate?